Okay, so now today we're going to learn how to make an e-blast. So the first thing you're going to do is click, go to the Constant Contact website. So just type in constantcontact.com and then hit log in. That'll take you to this screen. Our username is JL Tucson and our password you should already have in front of you. And then click log in. Once you've gotten into it, you can see that we have an old eblast right here. It says September 25th eblast. You want to first copy that. And then you want to change the date of your eblast. So let's do October. Um, what's the next day in October? So today is the second, so it'll go out on the 8th. So October 8th eblast. Okay, so that's the first thing you change is the name. Then you scroll down. So you scroll down and first what we're going to look for is anything out of date. So let's see here, JLT University Fall Series, um, November 3rd, so that can stay. October 27th, November 3rd, those are all going to be dates after our e-blast is out. And the next thing we're going to change is the date on the e-blast, so we're going to change that to October 8th, October 8th, 2012, click Save, perfect. So we've already decided that this is not out of date, so we're going to leave it. And then we're going to scroll down here. And this one is out of date. So it says Saturday, October 6th, 9 a.m. to noon is our next fall sorting. So let's just go ahead and open up the Junior League of Tucson page. So there's our website. Then you want to log in. And the way that you're going to update is that, that is you're going to just look for anything on the volunteer calendar that says sorting that you can put in there. So let's go to volunteer shifts. So I logged in, this is the screen that I get, then I clicked volunteer shifts and then I open that in a separate page. And then I'm just gonna scroll down here. So our e-blast is gonna come out on the 8th or the 9th. And when do we see another sorting? I don't see any on the calendar at this time. So for now, what we're going to do is just delete this section. So to delete it, just go ahead and click that delete this box, that little X. So are you sure you want to delete this box? Yes, I do. So let me get rid of that. And then it looks like this is also out of date. So let's scroll down and take a look at that as well. So the YMCA, that is Tuesday, October 9th. Uh, it looks like they were doing scholarships, but that the scholarships were due September the 27th. So we're going to delete this portion. Okay, let's delete that. Webinar Wednesdays is more of a general thing, so we're going to leave that. Um, the ad hoc meeting still looks good, but now we've got these two lines right here. So those are dividers. We can delete one of them. So let's delete one of those. Perfect. And then let's scroll on down to done in a day upcoming events. So let's see here, done in a day, September 25th, so that one's out of date. September 26th, that one's going to be out of date as well. Um, as is the community food bank, beads of courage, but, oh, sorry about that. Zeus on won't, so let's click in there and we're going to edit some things. So let's get rid of all of these ones that we know are no longer. Oh, getting some strange things happening with my computer. Let's try that again. So let's go ahead and just delete it. Just hitting backspace. We're going to delete this as well. because That one's also out. And then sometimes these photos don't go away. So if you hover over it, you'll get this little gear icon and then just click delete because that really messes it up. So now we've got Zeus on Feasts for the Beasts and we've got Parkinson's Wellness Recovery Open House so that looks great and let's hit save and then we're going to go down to member events we're going to see what's up with these so it looks like meet me at Lion Cantata would still work but the food truck roundup doesn't because that's out of date so it looks like this photo here is of a food truck roundup so let's go ahead and delete that and then let's go ahead and delete oh sorry the food truck roundup information and hit save. Communications, this is more general information. We want to go ahead and leave that here. 
Um, and so that is the basics of editing it down. And then what you'll do is you'll receive some emails from myself and from the committee members about what else to add in there. And so let's pretend like we're adding something new. So let's say we want to just, you don't want to reinvent the wheel, we just want to copy. So let's hit copy and you can see she pulls up again. And then, oh, but there's no little thing to separate out these two. So you want to hit copy on a divider block. Oops. You want to hit copy on a divider block. Let's try that again. So you want to hit copy. And now you've got two of those. And then to move it, you want to use this click and drag icon. And then just drag it in between the two. And then now you can add, um, I don't know, let's do save the date for our annual holiday brunch. And then you'll add any text there and then add a photo. So let's see here. Let's let's pretend we're adding a photo. So let's delete all this because that's not it that's not what it's about. And let's add a photo. So you want to click and then you want to go over here and click image, click add. Perfect. So you'll see my library, stock gallery, and image URL. So let's go through our library and try to find a photo that would work for the holiday brunch. See anything that you'd like? I'm not seeing anything there, so let's go to stock gallery. And let's type in holiday and hit search. Great, so we've got a jack-o'-lantern, we've got some Easter eggs. Oh, that's really cute. Um, what could we work with? for that. All these kindness kind of seem to be pretty denominational. So let's just type in snowflake. Great. So let's go ahead and insert one of these snowflakes. How about this one? It's a nice big pop of color. And then let's write join us at Hacienda del Sol for our annual holiday brunch on December I'm not sure, so let's just put that in there to save space for now. Okay, and then see how it looks kind of wonky there? So let's go to resize, well, let's go to alignment and let's go to left. Or let's go to, yeah, let's go to left. Okay, so that's the basics, but you can see that this is a lot larger than it needs to be. So then to change the font size, let's go back down to 12 point, which is what we're normally at 10. Let's try 10. Oh, that looks like it's more in line with what's up here. And then this seems a bit big, so let's do resize. And then we'll click this, and then we're going to customize. We're going to make it a little smaller. How about like that? We still get the same kind of impact. Perfect. So join us at Hacienda del Sol for our annual holiday brunch event on December blank 2012. Um, menu is currently being planned, but it is currently being planned. Cost per ticket is 35 per person. Okay, and then you'd want to say um, for additional questions or to make dietary requests. Requests please contact Alice Leung or Taylor New at alice at gmail.com and taylor at gmail.com. Okay? And then hit save. And so we've got that all set up. I hope that that explains that part. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to let you see how to preview. So, oh, and then the next thing we want to do is we've already used the subject line last last eblast. So we want to hit edit, so that little pencil icon, and then just say save the date for upcoming events. So just kind of change it up a little bit. Don't want to have it to be the same thing every single time. And then you can click preview and you'll see what it would look like in your email. So without any of the edits or anything like that. So you can see, oh we've got photos both on the same size here, so maybe you wanted to change that a little bit. Well, you'd click out, and then you'd scroll back down again. And then we'd click this section, and then we'd get that gear icon over there, and then we'd do alignment right. And so now it kind of balances a little bit better. We've got more of a pop 
to the email. Kind of brings your eye down, makes it look around. And then to preview and send it to myself or yourself to see what it would look like, go ahead and delete the email addresses there. Add in my email, which is jenny.lampers at gmail.com, and then your email at gmail.com or wherever your emails are. And then write a note, hey, Jenny, just wanted to see how this looks. Let me know what you think. And then you can click send a test. And then once the test goes through, you'll see a little icon pop up here. So then go ahead and X, and then you'll hit save. And once you're done saving, if you go back to my emails, you'll see October, e, uh, October 8 eblast and then the little edit icon because it hasn't gone out yet. And that is how you make an eblast.